Uh, thank you, Speaker. I have one clarification for Minister Ong Yi Kang. Um, earlier in his speech, he referred to the case which I cited about the uh, two economists um, 15 years ago. And um, according to his analysis, he mentioned that in order to qualify as an actionable POFMA untruth, there are two gates to pass. And his assessment was that in that scenario, gate one was not passed because there was no falsehood to begin with. Now, um, if I recall the facts of that case, um, the economists had relied on some data which later the government said was incomplete, and they had asserted based on the data that out of four jobs that were created, only one job went to a Singapore resident and three jobs went to the intake of foreigners. So I'm just uh, wanting some clarification because when you look at that statement alone about job creation, it appears on one reading to be an assertion of fact, which later on the government came to correct and said it's, it's not correct. In actual fact, out of 10 jobs, nine went to residents. And um, on one reading of POFMA, it, it could be argued you know, that gate one has been passed because there is an assertion of some facts which are not correct. And gate two possibly may be passed as well because this may diminish confidence in the government in job creation. So I'd like Minister to clarify again, um, which is very helpful I think earlier, but I think we need more explanation about how he sees the case and why POFMA would not apply. Does it mean that if uh, researchers conclude facts based on incomplete data, that will not come under POFMA, even though factually it has to be corrected. Yes, I got you. No, I'm prepared to, to explain this and be recorded in the Hansa, because their conclusion that most of the jobs went to foreigners, that's a conclusion of the study. And how they based that conclusion on was on data, although incomplete, it's not fabricated, it's not falsified. So there is no falsification and no falsehood involved. And as for the conclusion that most jobs went to foreigners, that is their conclusion and their opinion, which is also not part of POFMA. So, so long as researchers abide by research discipline, I do not see how they can be caught by POFMA unless they fabricate the data.